Hello students. In today's session, we are discussing some extra problems on the topic arithmetic progression. So let us try to solve the problems one by one. First problem is like this. Which term of the AP 3, 15, 27, 39 and so on will be 120 more than its 21st terms? Let us try to write the given terms. First, A is given. The value of A is 3. The value of D can be calculated. D is nothing but A2 minus A1. A2 minus A1 means it is 15 minus 3. 15 minus 3 is going to be 12. Means I got the value of A and I got the value of D. I need to find the value of N. So which term they are asking. Therefore, I want to find the value of N. So to calculate the value of n, we are using this formula a n is equal to. But they have given the condition. So which term of the AP means I want to calculate the value of n. But this term is 120 more than its 21st term. So its 21st term means a 21. They have given 120 more means plus 120. It is like this. Now I want to calculate. So a n is nothing but a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to a 21. a 21 means we know a plus 20 d. So this 120 as it is. Now we want to solve this. So directly we can cancel this a and a because same terms but they are on either side of the equal we can cancel so i want to find this n so n minus 1 as it is we know the value of d let us substitute the value of d is 12 is equal to 20 into 12 means i am substituting the value of d plus 120 so n minus 1 into 12 is equal to 20 into 12 which is 240 plus 120 this as it is so n minus 1 into 12 is equal to 240 plus 120 is it nothing but 360 so i want n minus 1 means I am shifting this term 12. So which is nothing but 360 divided by 12. So n minus 1 is equal to n minus 1 is equal to. So 12 1s are 12 3s are 36 and 1 0. So I am shifting this minus 1. n is equal to is it nothing but 30 plus 1. Therefore n is equal to. 31. This is the final answer. So we can conclude that 31st term is 120 more than its 21st term. So a very simple question. So you can look into the question and you can note down. Second question is if 7 times the 7th term of an AP equal to 11 times the 11th term, then find the 18th term. So now let us understand. First we will try to write the given equation. 7 times of 7th term. 7 times of the 7th term means 7 into times indicates multiplication. 7 times of the 7th term, 7th term means a7 like this, 7 times of 7th term is equal to 11 times of 11th term means 11 into a11. Then find the 18th term. This is the given equation. Using this equation, we try to solve. So 7 times 7th term already we know. So a7 means a plus how many d's one less than this means can i write 6d is equal to 11 times 
the 11th term a plus 1 less than this means can I write 10d so we'll try to multiply 7 into a which is 7a plus 42d is equal to 11 into a is 11a plus so 110d so we are multiplying so we'll try to take all the terms one side so 11a 11a i'm shifting the 7a it becomes minus 7a so 110 is here 110 d and i am shifting this 42 d so can i write minus 42 d is equal to 0 means i am shifting all the terms one side so i'll try to calculate so 11 a minus 7 a is 4 a next 110 minus 42 which is going to be 68 d is equal to 0. So let us think is it possible to take anything common? Definitely we can take we can take 4 as the common term. So suppose if I take 4 out what is remaining here a remains plus 4 17 is 68 therefore 17 d is equal to zero so i want to shift this 4 to the rhs which is a plus can i write this 17 d as 18 minus 1 because 17 is nothing but 18 minus 1 d is equal to 0 divided by 4 is going to be 0 only exactly looks like a plus n minus 1 into d so which is nothing but a n means i can say a 18 is equal to 0 i can find the 18th term in this way so therefore 18th term of an ap is zero a very beautiful question and simple also just uh, try to note down the question and we can go for the next one